<laughs> Hello, I'm Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and we're a very close family. Get in frame. I'm in frame now. Yeah, we're very close tonight, aren't we? Okay. All right, in frame. You got anything for us in, in the chapel? Yeah. Palms. Palm, Palm. Palms. 46 1. Yeah. God is our refuge and strength, and very present help in trouble. All right. So going into in the barn stalls, we had trouble. Did we not? Yeah, trouble's cat. We still have him. He needs a new home. Anybody want to take him? Her? It? We don't care. It needs a new home. Trouble's always in trouble. So if you don't have bail money, don't get trouble. <laughs> anyway. In the barn stalls. All right. I have no idea what we put in last week and how many of the things. All three of the goats have had their babies. Mm -hmm. Leighton, I think, was on the last video. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. Holly and Sweet. Anyway. Okay, so Leighton has Superman. Holly has Ashley, Bella. She had Maxine, but Maxine passed away. Will you stop? Um, and then Sweetie had uh, Lois. And Leo, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so give us the saga of the goat. Give us the saga of the goats. What happened? And because we huh. had them in their own little pens and did them just like normal, right? Yep. What happened? It's a sticker. I'm a holding up the podcast. And it's loaded. Oh, it is. Good thing I didn't pull the trigger. I might have peed my own pants. <laughs> okay, what happened? Pull the hammer back, will it make it go off? Yes. It will? Whoa, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. Come on, not in the house. Okay, give me this. Tell about... <laughs> it's a stick. I'm still holding the podcast. So. Um, we had them all on their little individual pins, and they started jumping out and then with each other, and so okay, we just but, took them all down. But we had trouble, and we lost Maxine. How come? Because it's so cold. Okay, what happened? Let's see here. It got down to like, with wind chill, uh -huh. it was like negative two or three. And this is Oklahoma. During the day, it'd be what? Maybe freezing. Mm hmm. And we normally, in March, don't have. No, nah, it's normally like 55, 60. Yeah. So, we, uh, put um, jackets on everything and we did the lights and had it like just with the baby didn't work so what did we end up doing I bum fuzzled that didn't I yes you did oh, oh it's, I didn't want to take a I didn't want to go funny top okay so what did we end up doing because we reworked the barn after yep. everything had everything, because there was nights we had two of the babies in here. Here's a demonstration on how a monkey opens a banana. Only humans open bananas the hard way. Just so you know. I have fire days and monkey. I used to call him monkey butt. All right. Anyway, hey Wilbur. Shoot Wilbur. <laughs> looked at me like what <laughs> now they're under the table <laughs> hey carl hey wilbur all right quit you shot Still him that stuck. stinks i know he's over there jumping in circles he doesn't know what to do oh there's mail underneath the table the laptop's unplugged now too <sighs> yep it is okay we're having difficulty tonight all because I took the cat gun away and started playing with it myself. All right. So, get on it. Okay. All right, I'm working on eating my banana right now. No. Tell them what we did in the barn. How did we save the others? Because we had Sweeties 2 oh, got some heat came lights. in here, and they had to stay for the night in here. Mm -hmm. We milked her out, bottle fed them her colostrum and her milk. Then... Since Holly lost Maxine, she's still producing enough milk for three. Our goats are awesome milkers. The first day that I started having to milk out to get their teats under control so that the babies could actually suck on them, 
and milking enough out for the baby goats that were in here. How much milk did I milk the first time milking? A gallon. I took a gallon out of two goats. So, yeah, and that's like... That banana tastes fun. Try it. There. Carl. Chris, Carl, come on. You just turned off our thing. It's right here. That's right. I know, but he's being a dork. Well, you're the one that shot him. I haven't shot him. He's just being a dork. They're a little green. See the green oh. at the tip? So I didn't do They're a good little firm. Up. Yeah. That's okay. Whoops. Hey, folks. Here's a Leave little side lesson. A day. <laughs> if they're green up here, you shouldn't get them at Wally World. Well, yeah, you can because it lasts a little longer. Anyway. Well, you shouldn't get so, them in and try to eat them 20 minutes later. Now the dogs are fighting. I wouldn't let Carl underneath here, so now they're mad at each other. All right, everybody, go to bed. Oh. And Carl will in his kennel. Good night. Go to bed. And off he goes. They both go to bed in their kennels by themselves. So, yeah. We will have calmness now. Oh. All right. Anyway, so... We milked them out, and the next day I had to milk another gallon. My hands were so sore those first two days. Now I'm just taking down, um, Holly still has one teeth that was a little bit large yesterday. I took it down, and I caught the baby boy sucking on it today. And so I'm hoping, RJ, were her, was Holly's even or no? Or do you, did you look? I have to go out there in the morning and look. I'm trying to just address it every other day so I'm not taking too much and making them make more. Um, I don't want them to make more. We don't push them to make um, a lot. Uh, they just, they just do it, it freely. Yeah, they do. Um, if I milked morning and night, I could. But we will, after they're 10 days old, the babies will be split off in a pen. And the moms will be right there with them. Look, it's a mini pop-up timer. <laughs> it is not. It's my earring. It looks just like a mini pop-up timer. I lost an earring last night. So, I don't know. I think it's in my bed. But anyway, um. Does tequila make your clothes fall off? <laughs> I don't even drink tequila. Anyway. Well, that's all I can think of is that song when you said you lost an earring. <gasps> that little song popped in my it head. Has, one of these had a little back, and the back was loose, and it kept falling out. Like, I'd pull my hair like this, and it'd get caught and flip out. So, it could actually be in the, in the tub from where I washed my hair this morning in the shower. I don't know. I lost an earring, so... But they're not. <laughs> Stop. It's a country song for those of you who are country. You just music Google band. that song. Yep. If you're curious. Um. Anyway, so I milked Holly down so that the one could do it. And now, sweetie, we actually were milking her out and bringing the milk in to the babies here. And they drank from a bottle for a while, did they not? Mm -hmm. Then it took a good 24 hours to get them up and going because at first we thought they were nursing. And then they weren't. And they looked fine at like, because anybody who follows us know we're out there every three to four hours, correct? Mm -hmm. As long as the moms are raising them, we try to leave them every three to four hours, we check them. Um, but at seven, they were fine. And then when RJ got up and went out there at nine o'clock, they looked horrible. He says, Mom, they've gone really downhill. He texts me, and I was like, pull them. Just pull them and get milk down them. Got them in here and went to feeding every two hours, right? And they started with about a fifth of, of a bottle, right, with the first time? Yep. And then they got up to where they were drinking about half a bottle. So, and they were starting to bounce around, so we took them outside. They still have their jackets on. Now, Holly's and Layton's. Layton's didn't have his jacket on, but like one day. When we put him outside that one day, it was nice. That night, she lost him. Couldn't figure out where he went. Couldn't, he went to sleep. He went to sleep and wouldn't answer her. And so she was freaking out, running all over the pasture when I went out there to check him. So I scooped him up, put him back in the barn, put her in the barn, just because I didn't want to have to deal with her being frantic all night. Um, stress is not a good thing, so especially when you're a newborn mom. And Leighton, this is her first baby ever, so... Um, it's a stick-up with an empty gun. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... We just have had problems. We think we have them all lined out. I'm trying to only touch Holly and Sweetie's bags every other day if I have to. I did see Holly's 
being sucked on today on her one tit that she gets full. How do you know which one and she shot? And Sweetie is, well, you're supposed to shoot all eight before you worry about it, but well, you know, now you're going to have to start over, huh? Yeah. Oh, you can play Russian roulette now. Oh. Well, you used to be able to tell because they would turn colors. Now they stay white. I tried, I looked and tried to tell, and you can't really. No, you you can't. used to be able to tell. Well, yeah, because it'd go boom, and it'd like it'd turn like black. It'd make like a black mark. Now they don't. They're just all white, so. Dang, no government. They probably regulated it, made it where there's not so much black powder in it because some kid probably blew his hand off. <laughs> where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> What? Okay, anyway, back on track. This is going to be one of our worst podcasts ever. Okay, what else in the barn stalls? What, what did we do with Cub Bayou? Okay, we're, not, we're on in the barn stalls. Oh, okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah, now we got to talk about the cap gun because we used it in the barn stall. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's a new toy. <laughs> we okay. bought this for horse training. <laughs> Who's we? You. Because I don't want Because he thinks I'm a fool. No, I never okay. said that. I said you're crazy. There's a difference between being I'm crazy, crazy and, and a fool. I'm a fool. Okay. There's a difference between being crazy. All right. And a fool. So, what did you help me with today? Kavayu Thunder. We shot him. We shot Kavayu. Multiple Kavai. times. Like, I mean, I stood there point blank. And he went, boom, boom, boom. He did. He actually didn't pointed it at Kavayu. And that didn't, didn't even phase him. Um, it helped okay, on a so, terrible shot with this thing. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. As one of my friends said, and he meant it lovingly, that. At this point, he thinks I'm trying to reinvent myself, but I'm not too far from where I originally, my original comfort zone. And he's kind of right. The only kind of horse that we have not trained, well, there's two kinds actually, and one I'm not interested in doing. What's that? Um, a trick horse riding or um, a... Uh, Mounted shooting horse. So. You should be one of those trick horse riders. I'm too old and too heavy for that, and that's why I'm not going to do it. I'm not trying to. It'd be fun once you splat. No. Too old for that. Um. So, I decided just to try my hand at training one for mounted shooting. And I thought it would be cool to have my little Mustang that is going to be my pasture and trail horse. If I was able to shoot off of him too. So there's actual competitions. And you can Google it mounted shooting. And you'll see that these people can shoot like 16 balloons. Or is it 12 balloons? And run a barrel pattern. They, they run a certain pattern. Shoot these little balloons. And they can do it in like 15 seconds. I'm not going to do that. I'm. It's cool to see. And it's cool to watch. I just want to be able to shoot coyotes that are after our cattle and, and shoot at things that I want to. I, I just want to be able to shoot snakes off of him, which RJ should appreciate that. I'm going to be something a lot bigger than a cap gun. <laughs> but, You're going to have to get that horse bazooka. Um, I've never broke one to or trained one to take gunfire. So I do know that there's um, earplugs that the horses wear, correct? Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine... I, when I called him and said, have you ever trained one to do this? He said, no. He said, but I sold one to a guy, and one of the tests that he wanted done before he would buy the horse is you had to go buy a cap gun and set it off. He, the, other, the gentleman looking to buy the horse was going to train it to be a mounted shooting horse, but he said they'll either take to it or they won't. He says when that first cap goes off, you'll know. He said, so get a cap gun and just start shooting, you know. So, um, there's a video going up in the middle of this week that um, will show what we did. I started at the, the Kavayu and RJ were in the center of the arena. Kavayu trusts me, so he knew I wasn't holding him and he knew I was doing whatever it was that we were doing. So I went all the way back to the fence and I walked just shooting in the like in the air like had it up where he could see it pow 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 as I walked up and I did the first eight shots seven or eight shots mm -hmm. and then um, I had to reload and then I continued to walk forward I got right up to him and he didn't do oh, anything yeah, look at that there's all that there's black stuff in the nose of it like see I see that 
This thing's dirty. It needs cleaned, folks. After you shoot your gun, you should always go clean them. And there's your gun safety tip of the day. No, the gun safety tip of the day is don't shoot guns in the house. <laughs> That's true, too. Anyway, Even if so. It's a capped gun. We did that. And then RJ, I made him do it because Kavayu doesn't trust RJ as much. And you did like some in succession. Bah, 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 and I did he, three he shots. started to back up, but that was about it. But he doesn't trust RJ. And I RJ shot gets myself. like <laughs> out of control. So. Me? Me? I'm out of control. I had to actually never. Have to tone it down. I am never out of control. I control all this awesomeness. Really? I got the China hutch behind you. I can fly around and never hit it. Okay, and you just hit my foot without making me fall off the bench. Well, I was trying to make you spill your drink, but I, I kicked my foot instead of smacking my hand. Anyway. All right, so do we have anything else in the barn stalls? We have some sheep that look ready to go anytime. Do we not? So please submit your everyday hero names. That's we right. Them, folks. We have started a list. So if you have submitted one, we're just going to start pulling from that list. Mm -hmm. um, we'll ask for help on Facebook when we run low. But if you want one submitted, go just ahead. Just submit it. Yep. You can submit so. them here. You can submit them there. You can submit them anywhere. We'll write them yep. down. Save them for a rainy day. Save them for a rainy day. Um... Anyway, all right, I think that's it for in the barn stalls, isn't it? There was that thing. No, no, no. Um, no, no, we're good. Let's is that go. it? Because yeah. we're just waiting on sheep to start lambing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? Will you quit? Don't tear that up now. I mean it. Dry fire and a gun will ruin the firing <laughs> We wouldn't get that lucky with this one. I actually want to keep it and do him some more. Like when we get horse um, on his back, we need to do it again. Between I'm not sitting on pulling the trigger. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I can see it now. He would have I'll lived. I'll be on the ground and. But his mom <laughs> wanted him to shoot a cap gun off of this horse. Guys, he he didn't do anything today. Trust me. So we'll get him good and broke, and then the next step will be for He drugged me all the way to Mexico the first time. Then when she pulled the next trigger, he was all the way back up in Canada. No. All right. Anyway, so is that it in the barn stalls other than waiting on lambs? Which, any day now, I actually expected Fudgy to already go. Um, I'm glad they're waiting a little. With the I weather am, too. Better. I am too. I'm super excited to see the lambs, but I'm really we'll excited that they're yeah. I, I'm really excited that, that they're waiting. It's not that we're not doing baby checks anyway, but this next week is supposed to be rainy, so <sighs> it is what it is, huh? All right, moving on. Yes, Mending fences. What'd you fix tonight? That's car. What was wrong? It broke. Okay, what was wrong with it? Um, the thermostat went out. Yep, so it was an easy fix. What else did you have to fix? Mm, what else did I fix? I fixed There's something. There's a lot of things that we got to fix, but we haven't gotten them fixed around here. It's kind of hard to fix things outside when it's five degrees. Or muddy. Mm -hmm. So we fixed the pins, right? Did we talk about that? In the Kind of, sort of. In the barn stalls, what we changed the barn inside. You know how we normally have all those pens and they all have their individual little stalls and they've got their babies with them? They, go truck, they yeah. each got 24 hours with their babies um, by themselves, except for Sweetie, correct? Mm -hmm. And Sweetie is such a good mom, she would get mad. She had butted the cat when we were trying to take them and stuff. So, yeah, she doesn't need that. Um, so we opened it up, and now, right now, the bar, the do not, the <laughs> barn is open, and it's cut off so they can't get to the active part where we need it, where the stalls are and the feed and all that. But the hay barn, where they normally berth out, is all open. We've got multiple lights hanging down in the center so that the babies can get underneath a lot of them, and that provides extra heat right there. So it's concentrated in one spot, and then... Um, the hay is all insulating everywhere. So, anything else that we had to fix? It rolls, it rolls it to the right. Anything no. else we have to no. fix? I think I figured out which two we shot. 
<laughs> and now he just dropped them all out. Yeah, he's so easily entertained. But watch, um, I can make it where I can shoot it with the loaded part. And it not go big boom. Alright, watch this. I should be able to... Anyway. Yeah, they're not being able to see anything on the camera. You're like, watch this, and then well, you're just, just looking... I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready. You guys to watch this. Okay, so that's mending fences. Um, Alright. In the field. Now, it's not gonna make the no, big boom. No, in the yarn farm, isn't it? Alright, it shouldn't make the big boom. It didn't. <laughs> okay. But we shot like two of them. That's the only one I could tell. <laughs> so it, this next one's going to go boom. <laughs> and it was the other one on the other side, or it wasn't. So you ready to find out? Oh, it was a little poof. It was. Okay. <laughs> that means the out. next one's going to go off. Well, let's find out. Yep, it was. I figured it out. I figured okay. it out. Okay, okay. I did it. In the yarn farm. April 6th is our thing. I still have, I have ideas of little demonstrations. I haven't gotten out there because it's been so cold and we've been just doing yeah, kidding. Yeah, folks. Um, but I know that I'm going to do, I'm going to do little mini sessions about the drying rack I made. I'm going to tell everybody what I did, what I used. Um, we're going to go about over how to wash wool at one point. We're going to teach how to um, milk a goat. Um, just each Saturday through April. We'll start in April and see how it goes. And then um, June, of course, we'll have our, what is that? Fireflies and stargazing, right? Mm -hmm. And this year we've decided we're going to do one in July Mom, as I well. I think I should get bangs. <sighs> Looks like the little rascal dude. All I he needs is that little thing off his head. Oh, hang on. That could be arranged. <laughs> oh, come on, hair. It sticks up every morning. <laughs> it does, and now it won't. <laughs> it's actually back here. Oh, well, you yeah, can't see it hardly. It sticks up every morning. I get out of bed and it sticks straight up. All right. Anyway, so that's for In the Yarn Farm. Um, April 6th go. is our grand opening. Nobody can ever say right. I don't do anything hey. with my hair. April 6th, got it. What else? And then we're going to do the little mm -hmm. samples. Anything else? We're going to do the little uh, demonstrations, what I mean, not samples. The demonstrations every Saturday morning. Um, and they'll be done at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. They'll just take like 15 minutes. Anything else? Anything else? I just ate a rabbit. Okay, so in the fields, um, the wind has destroyed the garden again. I've got to get down there. I've got, I'm going to actually start my seeds. Um, I know I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm going to get them going sometime this week in the evening, I hope. Um, right? And we've got to get the uh, grow tower put together. So, anyway... There's a lot to get done down there. It's just no time to get it done because when I'm home, it's raining and yucky. <laughs> I got this and little I calendar want, the other day. Can you wait a minute? Okay. And I want to get seeds in the ground down there. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get some dry time, if that makes sense. Uh, I am thinking that, you know, they say St. Patty's Day is uh, March 17th is when you plant your tomatoes. So the 16th is a Saturday and the 17th is a Sunday. And I think I might actually just start some seeds in the ground down there and quit trying to start them up here and see how that goes, right? Because I lose them when I try to harden them off. And it's because I don't have a good way to do it. I don't have a good place to do it. That the animals can't eat them. So that's my issue. Um, in the farmhouse. Go for it. You got your little calendar. Where did you get your little calendar? Ten, ten more seconds before my minutes up. <laughs> really, you're timing yourself? Yeah, yeah. You said you had, uh, you'd give me a minute. You said we give you a minute. Oh. So now your minute is up. 
Okay, so. Got my calendar here. Where'd here's you get it. your calendar? I took a horse to a vet for my aunt. And they had these little calendars. And they were giving them away right. free. Yeah. Okay. Here's the funny one. There's three of them that are really funny. Really okay, well, you have to tell us the pictures. All right. Two guys are sitting on the then. front porch. Yes. If I continue to save at my present rate, it's time to, when it's time to retire, I'll be hopelessly in debt. All right, then let's see here. These are all farm country kind of cartoons. These two guys are sitting, these two little guys are sitting on, on this uh, bench around this tree, reading a newspaper. Two cowboys. Two cowboys with their yep. suspenders on. And, mm. Dad, burn it, Bernie. The government is lowering income taxes, and here we are with no income. <laughs> then we got this cowboy sitting here with his old clunker at the mechanic. The mechanic looks at him and says, The best I've been able to do is make it a little easier to push. <laughs> All right. Hang on, there's another one that's funny in here. Where is it? I had it. I had it. Come here. He had it. He had it. Oh, they're at the cook chuck wagon here. And the cook looks at the guy and he says, I undercooked it. So it won't be overcooked when I warm it up tomorrow. <laughs> That's RJ's cooking right there. Yep. Okay. And the last one. Hard Scratch Loan Company. He's sitting at the bank. This guy goes, never mind how much money we have. How much do you want to borrow? <laughs> That's what I'd ask. But, Man, you guys got all this money. Mm -hmm. You guys got a lot of money here. Okay, so in a farmhouse, mom's been working on her head wrap, which this here, is I not even. I still have this much of this of one skein. It's going to be three skeins long, okay, and it'll be like an infinity, but I use it around my head, and it is my favorite stitch. You're getting it banana. -y. That's okay. It's yellow. Your bananas. That's okay. It's yellow. Okay, I don't know if you can see the detail of this that stitch, but I love that stitch. Anyway, so I am approximately a third of the way done. There's no pattern. I'm just making it. He's eating peeps. Anything else? I went to the dentist this week. I had magic. I had my teeth. They did fix one, so. I had magic, folks. Look at those. Kissing cousins now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it broke his ears. He broke his ear. Look, put <laughs> up there where they stuck together. Look at the look other the, one, too. She broke look at his the other ear. one. Show the other one. She it's got... broke his ear. She broke their ears. Now let's see if they'll. No. <laughs> it's not nice to play with your food. <laughs> I'm not playing with somebody else's. <laughs> look, they're stuck back together. Hell, I fixed them. <laughs> You're just gonna eat them. Well, you're about to kill them, so I figured I'd do them thus. At least eat their heads first. At least I'd save them. I don't like peeps. Just telling you. I'm not a peep person, I know. It's probably un American, whatever. You should go to Canada. Don't like them. Um, Why don't you like Canadians? They're not bad people. They just like cold weather. I didn't say I didn't like Canadians. I said I don't like peeps. Yeah, I said you should go to Canada. You said I don't like them. I said so. I said I just don't like them, meaning the peeps. I know. I was trying to be a funny one. Okay, keep your day job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're really amusing, aren't we? Okay, so you've got to go check goats here in a little bit. And then, not goats, I'm sorry, uh, lambs. Mm -hmm. The goats should be fine. You just got to check their bags. In the I am smarter than Well, I'll have to check them in the morning before I go to work and I'll milk. But it was a long week, wasn't it? Oh, I have plans for St. Patty's Day, don't I? Mm -hmm. Which, actually, it's not on St. Patty's Day because St. Patty's Day is on Sunday. But Saturday, I'm going to go out, right? So, a St. Patrick's Day party. We shall see. There's about four other girls that talked me into doing this. 
We shall see. I got me a shirt though, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes. Uh, well, okay, I'm just not into all the stupid things that people wear. I found a really cool plaid fedora. I should have bought it for me. <laughs> Yes, there's all kinds of... There was a unicorn horn thing. Could have bought that one too. I would have worn it. It's a headband with a unicorn horn and ears on it. Mm -hmm. There was all kinds of like Mardi Gras beads, which not happening for this girl. Um, what else was there? There was hats, all kinds of hats, like tall leprechaun looking hats. There was a necklace that said, get lucky, right? Mm -hmm. Um... I did not find that one t-shirt, and this is what we used to wear when I was growing up and in my 20s, but it was, kiss me, I'm Irish. I didn't see not one, um, which is sad because I am little Irish on my mother's side. So, I didn't find that one t-shirt that said that. But I did find a green one with a four-leaf clove that says lucky across it, so... It'll work, right? Mm -hmm. But all the other stuff was like pinch proof. Like it was this headband with this stuff that stands up. Something princess, an Irish princess or something written on it. Just not me stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. What else was there? Mm -hmm. I think that was about it. Like, oh, they had these like little four leaf clover necklace bead things. I'd like to see if I can find some cute little dangly leprechaun or four-leaf clover earrings, but I wanted it to be kind of hidden and I could just go like this and have it out when I needed it and then hide it away when I didn't. Um, but I don't know. So I ended up with a little t-shirt. And I can wear the t-shirt every year, can't I? Mm -hmm. So, yep. It is what it is. And I can also use that t-shirt for all kinds of 4-H events. <laughs> Can't I? Mm -hmm. I can show up at any 4-H fundraiser with that shirt on. It'd be totally acceptable. <laughs> uh, right? Okay. Anything else? That was the thing. What? We have to go through this every time I sleep. Yep. I hope you guys oh, remember to set your foot forward. Spring forward. If you have not done it by now, it is Sunday night at 8.30 Central Standard Time. And that 9 30. Have we not set that one ahead? I can't figure out your phone. 9 20. Oh, okay. So I haven't set the stove clock ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, nobody thought to do that. Okay, so we're off of here and go to, to bed because it's late. Later than we thought it was, huh? I knew exactly how late it was. All right, so we're off of here. Say good night, son. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We will see you next time. Well, technically, we won't see you. You'll see us. If we see you, we are going mental. But she's already gone that way, so it's okay if she says it. Just not me. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Peace out, girl.